you know, let's, let's do drop shadows here, soft drop shadows. Now I call it soft drop shadows because the drop shadow is not hard and pure color. It's, uh, it's soft and like this one here. Okay, so right now what, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type in, we're going to recreate these two drop shadows here. And we're not only limited with uh, a black dra drop shadow, we can also make a white drop shadow like this one, which which is also good so that you can, we can make an illusion that it's glowing, okay? So anyway, so I'll type in drop shadow here. So drop shadow and uh, okay, so I'll make it the same font as that one and and then let's let's make a let's color this one let's say that color and then what I'll do I'll create drop shadows on this one so the drop shadow is an interactive tool so it's an interactive drop shadow and it is located in this in this drop down here so drop shadow so once I click on drop shadow in the upper left corner you have some presets and if you roll over those presets, you can see that you can actually uh, set a or apply a preset. Let's say I like that drop shadow. I just click on that and it goes like this. Okay. Now you're not stuck with the position of that. You can still, you see this black block square here. You can actually click and drag it going inside to reposition the drop shadow. Now, you can see this, there's a bar in between these two squares here, this white square and the black square. And this white bar here is the, the darkness or the opacity of the drop shadow. So if you want to make it darker, you move it to the black side, black square. And if you want to go lighter, you go to the, the white square. Okay, so let's say I'm just going to make it like that. So that's the black drop shadow. And then you can also, let's say I'm going to put a, to make the text nicer, I'm going to put an outline on the text. I go to my outline tool and I'll go to four points. I'll make a white border behind fill and scale with image and then I'll click OK. Okay. And uh, if you want to change the border, I'm just going to make it white and click OK. Now we have that drop shadow and whenever you have the drop shadow it goes with the text so if I reposition the text it goes with the with the text okay now if you also notice that in here okay uh, we have a black shadow and then in here we got a white black a white shadow so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it over this side here. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Okay. So I click on the drop shadow. Click on the drop shadow. And in this property bar here, you can see this is the property of drop, drop shadow. Okay. So this one here is clear drop shadow. The red icon with the, it's like a, it's like a no drop shadow sign. So I click on that and the drop shadow goes away. So I'll click undo. Now if you want to make a white drop shadow, you just click on this one here. This is the color of the drop shadow. You can make it whatever color you want. Okay, for this exercise, I'll just click on white. Okay, and you notice if I click on white, it doesn't show up. Okay, so you have to change this multiply. Instead of multiply, click on normal. And there, the drop shadow becomes white. Now you can have an illusion of a glowing text. Okay. 